Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the problems on capacitance comparison bridge and inductance comparison bridge. Okay. So capacitance comparison bridge, this is the circuit diagram. Already I have, I have, I have explained in the previous class how the capacitance comparison bridge works and what is the formula of this unknown capacitance and unknown resistance. Here capacitance comparison bridge means unknown capacitance value is calculated by using the known capacitance value C3. Cx is calculated in terms of C3 and of course Rx is calculated in terms of the remaining parameters resistor values R1, R2 and R3. Okay, so however this is the unknown component which is indicated in the red color. Now what you are asked to calculate? The unknown impedance only. So a capacitance comparison bridge is used to measure a capacitance impedance at a frequency of 2 kilohertz. So in the DC bridges, we are not bothering about the frequency of the bridge because the input is a DC supply and all the components are a pure resistive network. But here the input is an AC supply. See here the input is an AC supply and the components, some of the components or all the components in the circuit must be a frequency dependent components like capacitance and inductance. Here in this case C3 and Cx are frequency dependent components. Okay, that's why frequency component is definitely used here in the AC bridges. So frequency is given F is equal to 2 kilohertz. F is equal to 2 kilohertz. And what are the remaining values? R1 is given that is 10 kilo ohms. R2 is given that is 50 kilo ohms. And R3 is given that is 100 kilo ohms. And along with that C3 is given C3 is equal to 100 microfarad. Okay. Now, when bridge is in balanced condition, so when we are calculating the unknown values, whether it is a resistance or impedance, whatever it is, or frequency also, the unknown impedances or unknown values are calculated when bridge is in balanced condition. When bridge is in balanced condition. So, when bridge is in balance, what happens? We know that Z1, Z4 is equal to Z2, Z3. Okay. So, if you simplify substitute after substituting, if you simplify, we have already done in the case of uh, when I have explained, when I was explaining this capacitance comparison bridge, already I have done. Uh, so, directly I can take the formula here. So, they are unknown resistance Rx is equal to R2, R3 by R1. So, substitute the values R2 is nothing but 50 kilo ohms into R3 is nothing but 100 kilo ohms and divided by R1 is 10 kilo ohms. So, how much it is? Kilo kilo cancel, 0 0 cancel. Simply it is 500 kilo ohms. Okay. And similarly, Cx is equal to Cx is equal to R1 by R2 into C3. This is the formula. R1 by R2 into C3. So, what is R1? 10 kilo divided by R2 is equal to 50 kilo into what is C3? 100 microfarad. Micro is nothing but 10 power minus 6. Micro is nothing but 10 power minus 6. So, this kilo, this kilo cancel, 0, 0 cancel and 5 here. 20 times. So, it is 20 microfarad. Okay. So, the unknown impedance unknown impedance that is capacitance in series with resistance. The unknown impedance see the circuit diagram what we have capacitance and resistance are both are in series Rx and Cx which is 20 microfarad in series with 500 kilo ohms. This is the Z impedance. Okay. So, in this way we can calculate the capacitance comparison bridge formulas by taking the direct formulas. Capacitance comparison problems can be done by taking the direct formula. Even if you simplify substitute and simplify this, if you take this Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3 and uh, if individually if you are writing again you will get the same register okay once if you know the formula you can directly use 
okay no need to do the same process again coming to this inductance comparison bridge it is also same inductance comparison bridge here it is uh, asking the calculation of unknown resistance and unknown inductance so inductance comparison bridge is used to measure the inductance impedance it is not capacitance it is inductance where it is it is inductance okay inductance inductance impedance at frequency of 5 kilohertz the bridge constants are same now let us take in the given data given that r1 is equal to 10 kilo ohms r2 is equal to 40 kilo ohms r3 is equal to 100 kilo ohms and l3 is also given l3 is equal to 10 milli henry units for this inductance is henry's and the units for capacitance is farads you should remember the units too okay so now you are going to calculate the impedance of the unknown arm okay so how to do that how to do that this is also possible when bridges balanced okay when bridge is balanced what happens z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 again you no need to do uh, because already we have done this and what is the formula unknown resistance r x is equal to same r2 r3 by r1 so R2, R3, R2 is nothing but 40 kilo into C3 is nothing but, sorry, R3 is nothing but 100 kilo ohms divided by R1 is 10 kilo. So this kilo, this kilo, 0, 0 cancel. So it is 400 kilo ohms and the inductance value Lx is equal to Lx is equal to here the unknown inductance Lx is calculated in terms of the known inductance. That's why it is inductance comparison bridge. Inductance comparison bridge is nothing but the unknown inductance is calculated by using the known inductance value. That's why it is inductance comparison bridge and the formula is what is Lx formula R2 by R1 opposite to that previous case and it is L3 because it is connected in the third arm okay see here the names are given when based upon the arms this is the first arm this is second arm this is third arm and this is fourth arm or unknown arms all the values either it can be all the parameters they can be represented as a four or even x because it is unknown value so don't search for L1 and L2, L1 and L2 are not there in the circuit and the, uh, similarly in the previous uh, capacitance comparison bridge also C1, C2 are not there, okay, C3 is there, okay, don't search for C1, C2 there and L1, L2 here because they, as they are connected in the third arms, they are named as C3 and L3, okay, so if you substitute here R2 means, what is R2, R2 is 40 kilo ohms, divided by what is r1 10 kilo ohms so simply it is 4 into what is l3 10 into 10 power minus 3 see it becomes 4 4 into 10 40 milli henry 40 milli henry so the unknown therefore unknown impedance unknown impedance is Z which is having R and as well as L that is inductance and resistance inductance and resistance so it is uh, as it is LX it is RX so what is LX LX is equal to 40 milli henry and rx is nothing but 400 kilo ohms 400 kilo ohms so in this way we can calculate the unknown inductances and unknown capacitance for any type of bridges
coming under inductance comparison region capacitance comparison region okay so capacitance comparison bridge we are calculating the unknown capacitance value and inductance comparison bridge we are calculating the unknown inductance value see if you know this formula what is z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 even suppose if you suppose in suppose sir i don't uh, remember the formula like rx and cx in the examinations what i have to do because we don't have only two bridges we have several many bridges a shearing bridge is there Shearing bridge is there, Maxwell's bridge, Hayes bridge, Owens bridge, capacitance comparison bridge, inductance comparison bridge, and uh, Anderson's bridge. Several bridges are there. You may not uh, remember all these formulas. So what you will do? We have to remember only this formula. Okay, only this formula, Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. If you remember this formula, that is sufficient. You can calculate there itself. Okay, by taking Z1 is nothing but R1, Z2 is equal to R2, Z3 is nothing but R3 plus J omega L3 and Rx plus J omega Lx. At least if you know this basic standard formula when bridge is in balancer condition, in simply by substituting all these values, you can at least get the formula there itself. Okay, suppose if you are unable to find out, unable to remember these two formulas. Okay, hope you understand the concept. Okay, thank you.